Okay. I just for ensuring my safety. Who, who are you tied with? Nobody. I am me, myself, and I. I have a right as an American to carry a weapon for my self defense. So do I. I got a concealed security. <laughs> If you ever want to hear my position on anything, just let me know. <laughs> I operate the uh, open carry Wisconsin concealed carry on Facebook. Were you the one that Kelly McConnell? Yep. Were you? Don't point that effing gun at me. It is what it is, you know. Well, I got a letter from them saying that the law was unconstitutional and they tip, scrubbed all the electronic record of it. So. I did it for a reason because they had an un unenforceable ordinance and they refused to uh, acknowledge that it was unenforceable. That's the only way, the only way I can execute it. That if you got the camera on, look for trouble. No, the camera is so if someone calls the cops and says, oh, I threatened, I can say, no, I didn't hear proof. But or if, is, is that like if you're honestly out here in Sheboygan, I'm not going to, I was getting close and I don't want me to get close. But if you're out here defending, if you're out here defending Sheboygan, I think that I totally agree with that. I'm defending myself while walking the streets. You're not defending yourself. And if I see something go on, I don't have a problem exactly. in interviewing. You're not defending yourself, you're defending the civilians of Sheboygan. That's the same way I am. When, I, when I'm concealed carrying, when I'm carrying at all, I'm defending not only me, I'm defending my daughter, and I'm defending everybody that's around me. It don't matter if you're black, there's a bit. white, there's but, a gray, there's no, a gray area. No, it don't matter. I'm he's doing, the cops are doing what they're supposed to, he's doing what he's supposed to. Well, they just that's the like, cops are sometimes doing what they're supposed to. We have the open carry in Wisconsin, so we are allowed We've to had it ever since the state became a state. Exactly. We are open carry the state and everything else. But the thing is, is that if you're out here to make a, uh, a point of, you know, cops are bad and shit, that's wrong. But if you're out here to defend yourself and to defend the civilians, Honestly, there's civilians out here that I think you're defending because there was a guy who was causing disturbance. He must have did it just as after I walked by. Because I walked by, I went down there, came back, and I saw the lights on me. Then, then it's totally okay. But if you're coming out here just to just, you know, hey, I'm just showing my open carry, then that's wrong. I, I don't agree with that. I do that so people can know what their rights are because so many people, that's legal? Yes, it's legal. Exactly. Too many See, people I'll, don't know their I'll rights. Sort of a class for. Um, not only like concealed carry or whatever, but defending your home. Because Wisconsin has a castle down here, yep. right? Which allows you to defend your personal property and your family. As long as it's in your as long as you're in the building. Exactly. Or if vehicle. If they go into your into your vehicle or into your home. You have to be in it when it happens. Exactly. But I had a sheriff that told me, a sheriff that told me. I'm not gonna name who it was, but a sheriff that told me that if a person comes into your house, you better shoot them. And you better make sure that they're dead. Because of the fact that you got like if they Oh, come it's out likely they'll try and, and sue wounded, and they're gonna try and sue and it's all of a sudden, oh well I'm the victim and shit like that. No. You came in and you did this. But the, the class I wanna teach is to show people like, alright, you know what? I got a daughter in law, right? When her 16 year old boyfriend comes in the house, you know, I can tell who is the silhouette of the person is because I serve overseas. I want to know who the silhouette is so I can go over there and I can defend myself. If I see him and I'm like, oh, that's his silhouette, that's how he walks, that's how he does this, I'm not going to shoot. But if there's somebody else that's, you know, got my fucking TV and shit like that, huh, guess what? You know, you're fucking dead. Plain yeah. simple. Antenna is the hardest thing. It's camera. But hey, man, hey, I support you 100%, man. All right? Yep. You put that shit on YouTube, like I told you. It'll be there. Say what? I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Danny, you talk to him. I'll watch it all. Yeah, I'll tell you. Antenna's the hardest thing to improve. Or to improve. Anybody's got capability or opportunity. That's why I record. This is what I saw. This is what I did. This I've is why I did it. Say, you know, I've been told in the Middle East. You know, they said, you know, I've done shit where they showed a weapon and they showed the weapon and they 
I opened fire, you know, in the simulation, I opened fire, and they said, well, you know, they didn't show intent because they didn't point the weapon at you. you know, every case is different. I don't know. So, stuff doing your job is stuff doing your job. Just thanks for protecting us. <laughs> yeah, have a good night. Cause it's my right. You got a problem? <laughs> you got a, are you a citizen or are you a, a police officer? I'm a citizen. All right. And you got your rights and I respect huh. that right and shit. If I start blowing somebody away, you're gonna get me. <laughs> well, he just had a stabbing note here last night. Really? Oh well, yeah, guy got stabbed six or seven times. He finally got out of emergency surgery. This happened at like 11.30 last night. He finally got out of emergency surgery at six this morning. Well, I appreciate that you weren't a camera protecting yourself because you got to well, protect yourself at the end. Someone of the makes day. a claim that I did something wrong. You're looking out after. Uh, damn, you. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. I feel safer. And I've got the cops trained that they leave me alone now, for the most part. And they take care of you, you take care of them, you take care of I mean, you guys communicate that they are right with you. I don't tell them nothing. They, they've stopped me three or four times, five times, I don't know. But they, right? they pretty right well know that, that this is they better have a reason to stop me, otherwise I ain't cooperating. Yeah. Well, well, hey man, it's an ambitious young man. Thanks for keeping us in. Thanks. What I say is you and one you gotta have the camera on. You gotta. Oh, you know, that way, if someone says, "Oh, you threatened me," I can say, "No, I didn't." Yeah. Because you know these people, oh, they, they. One chance in the world. Look, look what happened to the guy at Walmart in uh, Ohio. Wow. There, the cops came and just shot him. Cop? No. Are you a cop? No. I always have to ask no. anybody I hang out with. I don't know, there's a lot of them. No. Here. Absolutely not a cop. No. Hey, let's go, Jeff. No, he drove me. This place is totally, like, but are you joking? Well, I'm joking about what? Do you have a gun? Um, to look I have more and more four like guns. Ferguson every day. So like loaded? Yes. What? But you're not a cop? You can right. just have. Yes. Really? Yes. Do you, and you need guns right here on this corner? You I, never know where you're gonna need it. You're cool Joel, with me. I My name's Brandon. Nice to meet you, Bill. Bill? Bill? Yeah. Bill, take care of yourself. Thanks. Be safe, all right? I mean, nice you. Nice yeah. you. Yeah. You. Had, I had a guy get stabbed yeah. down the street yeah. last yeah. night? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There was three armed, ro four so armed robberies in the last three weeks? You don't need a license to carry openly. My dude. I do have a concealed carry license to make things easier. And they stole seven guns from right the bag into the fucking machine. I, did the cops recover any of them or no? What? Did the cops recover any of them? Yeah. And then they wouldn't let them get back. I was drunk and sitting in front of the people's house. No, I don't feel bad. They like one like a very happy guy. Well, he got no punch And the cops went, you, you couldn't get them back. No. In fact, I called the 911 six times. Oh, you're talking about me. Yeah. Yeah, if the yeah. cops recovered so, like, them and after like the trial, you should have got your weapons back. No, 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 no. No, they like won't give them back to you. Freaking, Strict? what city was it? Milwaukee, was it Milwaukee? I, I, they have the yeah, Sheriff's Department. They have it was a, like a separate thing. thing. They have North one judge for yeah. all, all gun-related charges. I got uh, the guy ahead of me pistol whipped somebody. Uh, his, the person that the domestic violence suit was called on, he got his gun back. Uh, mine I bought be yeah. before I was 15 Even his, years his old, grandpa's gun, like a little kind of money. Ticket. 
and and uh, they wouldn't give me my shit back because it was in my dad's name. It was in my father's name. And they wouldn't that give it back. Right to, after, they like, wouldn't, they wouldn't give it back to him because he didn't have the proper paperwork. It was like right after. And it was a family passed. friend we got the shit from. Yeah. And he had passed on like five years prior to that. Milwaukee County's so corrupt. We're really those are real guys. Well, they're, just they're, out here they're, uh, uh, they just walk by. You know what they want? That's they want crazy. the vote. That's what they want. Milwaukee County wants to vote. Okay. I've they been in Milwaukee, Kerry. Democratic vote. I went down Milwaukee and carried down there. Not the AK or the shotgun, but I'll be back once I get my plate carrier because you never know what those idiots are going to do. That's an AK 47 pistol. Is that automatic? Semi auto. 23, right? 762 by 39. What is a semi auto? Semi auto means one bullet per trigger. Oh. Pull. Like every time you shoot a bullet? Yep. But if it was automatic, you just hold it down and Right. And to get those, you need to get a $200 tax stamp. But is it quicker? Because it's got the whole like curve thing. That like just means more, that, that's the amount of ammo it holds. Ammo. I can get a drum and it'll hold 90, 99 rounds, 100 rounds. Are you videotaping me? My buddy's yeah. got a fucking time gun. Yeah. yeah, it's recording. Is he gonna be on a website? <laughs> it'll be on YouTube. No, really? Yeah. Try it with me. I, uh, I record that way, <laughs> one, you listen um, to the what? media and oh, people card? freak out. You got a card? No. no you're going out How do I know what to look at? To, uh, I'm a YouTube. Look up uh, Sheboygan Open Carry. Inspire people to. Uh, well, you, you listen to media, oh, people are freak out. You're scared people. I don't see people running away screaming. Do you? No, it doesn't hey, scare me. It's very, very unusual. Yeah, yeah. You guys it's unusual. Downtown. People might be. Don't you think it's How's it going? Hey. A How you been? It's recording. Recording what? We're on YouTube. <laughs> Balls or wieners. Whatever's in front of me. <laughs> Why are you doing that? That way, if someone calls the cops and says I did something wrong, I can say, no, I didn't. Here's the proof. Do you oh, really? go home and watch it? Yeah, and then I upload it. And what do you want me to do for you? Show me your chest hairs. Pull your butt apart. <laughs> I got, uh, got Calumet County Sheriff's deputies pointing a gun at me. I got... So you should be on cop blockers. Uh, so you know cop blockers I know what cop block is. Yeah. I've... I had one of those videos get posted there. Well, that's fine. We're gonna go. You got that old tag black here. This month only. Kind of music just. Oh, that's a little bit of a Look at this plastic <laughs> shit. He doesn't have to fight for it. We can go there. That's the first sergeant in the military. My dad used to sing the No joke. Oh, this is that. Wait, I'm thinking twice about going inside. You know your station there. No, I just want to dance. No rape. We have a dance floor. You can dance all you want. Is there techno? You can ask the DJ. It's 70s and 80s. Oh, 80s and 90s. Well, it's 80s and 90s, but you can ask the DJ to play anything you want. Okay, which way is everybody going The DJ? Yeah. Right by the disco ball. Yes, ma'am. All right, I got to go in. Have a good night. No, no, someone got into a fight. An AK-47 pistol. You didn't like Florida. We all got under there. I only know because your friends. Glock 21, which is a 45 cal. Smith and Wesson SD9, which is obviously a nine. I got the Ruger LCP in my pocket. Fort Myers, Lehigh Acres. What are you getting ready for there? I mean, it's not too bad of an Anything. Acres, it's just, it's pretty like living in the ghetto of the Well, Maddie and I were just talking about this. If you were born and raised up there, you would have been in the ghetto. Yeah. 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 I love both places. Like I loved so many people I met, but most of the people I ended up becoming friends with were people that were originally born and raised in the north. Otherwise, I'd be down there with a bunch of rednecks, and they're like, "Oh, you look like a silly homo." Like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, I'm not even gay, but I'm not gonna hate on you. Like, 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 i am I make my kids do that too. Yeah. Well, that's how my mom and dad were up until we turned 18. It was yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, no ma'am. That's how it should be, regardless of where you did. You stepped out of line, you got spanked. It was like, hell yeah. You learned not to do something twice. Right. 
I kind of feel like I show respect for the action. I don't really use the words like you're saying, but I'm kind of up for them respectful in a different kind of way. But, you know, just, feel, just the way you are. Yeah, well, it's the way I was born and raised, so it just became natural to me. Yes, sir, yes, ma'am. I think the hardest thing for me when I moved here is when I went on a date with somebody. I'm used to how you go the car doors, everything. It doesn't matter if we've been together five years, you still do that shit. And then when I moved here, no one does. Nobody has or if you do, everyone just looks at you and starts laughing. It's like, I don't care standing outside of a building for 15 minutes letting the whole couple walk through. It's like, that's how I'm born hey, raised. Yeah. You never hang out, right? What have I been, I've been racing you to the door all fucking night. Why? Because oh, yeah. you say that and I remember that and I do that. <laughs> See? Exactly. But there's so many people here that don't do it anymore. It just sucks. Or you're trying to pay for the bill and stuff like that. And you're like, I work hard for my money. I can pay for it too. It's like, that's not the point. I'm not trying to show you up. It's just the way I was born and raised. Or you can stand in there and get done eating. Uh, what I don't like is everyone that blasts. Some, everyone's so quick to blast somebody else for not for not, for not, not um, thinking and acting like they do. Like, not, okay, well, I do this. And, you know, not, and they don't like put them, they don't like brag about themselves. Yeah. But they're just so quick to fucking judge others. Judge others, and I hate it. And I hate that's why I hate living here. It's like that everywhere, though. Yeah, it is. But once you get to know, like certain people, once you get to know them in this town, are fucking amazing. I that's yeah. one of the reasons why I will be born here, and I will die. Here. I love well, that. I do. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good I'm cool. Well, the funny thing is, I dress like this because I know how to dress. I go home and I sit down and I've spent probably forty thousand dollars on video games, Lord of the Rings stuff, just nerdy as hell. People come over and they're like, "Oh, I just, I guess I just wish more people would go home at the end of the day and be satisfied with what they accomplished yep. instead of thinking of ways that other people should be." Too many people are quick to judge in this town. And yeah, but, but they use what they do as a motivation just to judge others instead of just being happy with what they've accomplished for themselves. And that's what pisses me 